Well, to be honest, children of God, I don't even know what to think about all that. It's so heart-wrenching, you know, to, to know that... Oh, it's just, it's, 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 uh, it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. You know, Satan knows he's only got but a short time. And he's trying to get every one of us, you know, those sick thoughts that come into your head or those, you know, anxiety or, you know, the, the fast racing of the heart when a particular, you know, sin that you enjoy is laid out before you, whether it be pornography or drugs or, or alcohol or, or whatever the case may be, you know, Satan is on the move. He's after you. You know, he almost had me. As a matter of fact, he was so close to having me that I was seconds away from being pulled right down into the pits of hell from what I believe was the spirit of death down in Springfield, Missouri when I walked out of that bathroom and that thing grabbed a hold of me. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I had a demon or something grabbed a hold of me. I was invisible one time and I walked out of my bathroom. Pulled me so hard, my feet practically lifted, left the ground. Matter of fact, I think they did leave the ground. And then it pushed me back like this and just drug me to a point, center point, on my floor. Matter of fact, when it pulled me towards it, I hit my bed so hard that the bed flew up against the wall. And then it pushed me back and just dragging me to a center point on the floor. Now... I believe it's, it's, it was the spirit of death. I believe I was stalked by that thing from the point that my wife took off and left me with my daughter back in 2013. And then I, I was standing in the mirror and I was wishing for death at that time. I couldn't believe that I had done what I'd done again. And this time I was going to lose my, my, my daughter. And I just wished for death. And I got covered up in alcohol and drugs and, and uh, everything else. But anyways, when that spirit of death had a hold of me, I couldn't, I couldn't get away from it. It had me. And it was literally pulling my spirit right out of my body, my soul right out of my body into the pits of hell. And, uh, and what, until I cried out to God. Actually, when I cried out to God, it was just silence. I waited. God didn't respond. It wasn't until I hollered out in the name of Jesus did that thing let me go. And it didn't want to let me go. It didn't want to let me go. But it did. Because they can't handle Jesus. They can't deal with it. Because Jesus is the one. He's the Son of God. He is God incarnate. Anyways, I highly encourage you to search your soul. Search your, your being. On what, what is your life? You know, what have you done with your life? What have you, what have you done with the gifts that God has given you? And if you sit there and you're angry and you say, "Well, what has God given me? I have nothing." You know, He gave you life, and you are a child of God. And your choices in life have eternal, eternal consequences. And I just pray that, that you ask Jesus into your heart. He's the only one that can save you. Good works can't save you. Ain't no, no priest down here can save you if you're Catholic. I'm sorry, but it's just the truth. While I'm sure Mary was a good woman, um, she has no power to save you. Jesus said, no man cometh to the Father, at least they come through me. Just read the Bible. Just read the Bible. It's all in there. And when you're reading it, you're going to know in your heart that it's true. The Lord loves you, children. I love you. Pray for all these babies that are getting slaughtered up here. And uh, pray for the mamas that's, that's already had it done. That they take it to the Lord. Repent for the act of murder. That's what it is. Pray that Satan don't take their lives because they're all laid up with regret and remorse. I love you. Jesus loves you. Glory be to God. It's George with the Cross Country Mission. I'm out.